Today, we're diving into a topic that's been generating significant buzz in the lead up to the 2024 presidential election, the health of our candidates, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. As a medical professional, I want to address this sensitive subject with the care and objectivity it deserves. Let's start with some facts. Let's start out with something that is not up for debate. President Joe Biden is currently 81 years old, while former President Donald Trump is 78. These ages are actually unprecedented in United States presidential history, naturally raising questions about their fitness for office. Now, I want to emphasize that as a doctor, I can't make definitive judgments about either candidate's health based solely on public information. Comprehensive medical assessments require in-person examinations and full access to medical records. However, we can discuss the available information and consider in the context of general health considerations for individuals who are 78 years old and 81 years old. It's important to note that both candidates have faced scrutiny regarding their cognitive function due to their advanced age. However, neither has undergone or disclosed results of comprehensive cognitive assessments. Now let's consider some general health factors relevant to individuals in this age group. Starting with cognitive function. Some cognitive changes are normal parts of aging, but these vary greatly between individuals. Many people maintain sharp cognitive abilities well into their 80s and beyond. What about physical stamina? The presidency is an incredibly demanding job. While many people in their late 70s and 80s lead active lives, it's natural for physical energy and endurance to decrease with age. What about medical history? Past and current health conditions become increasingly relevant as we age. Conditions like high blood pressure, hypertension, heart disease, and diabetes are more common the older we get. Then there's resilience and recovery. The ability to bounce back from illness, lack of sleep, or stress becomes more important with age. Then we have sensory changes. Age-related changes in vision and hearing are common and worth considering for a role that requires processing large amounts of information. It's crucial to remember that chronological age doesn't always correlate with biological age or functional capacity. Many people remain remarkably healthy and active well into their 80s and beyond. The health of political leaders has long been a topic of interest and sometimes controversy. Historical examples abound of presidents who concealed serious health issues from the public. In our current political climate, with the advent of social media and 24-7 news cycles, Scrutiny of candidates' health has reached all-time high levels. As a medical professional, I want to caution against making sweeping judgments based on isolated incidents or selective video clips. Cognitive function, in particular, can fluctuate based on factors like stress, fatigue, or even simple distractions. Currently, presidential candidates are under no legal obligation to release their medical records. Some medical professionals and political observers have called for more standardized health disclosures for presidential candidates, potentially including comprehensive physical exams, cognitive assessments, relevant lab results, list of current medications, and summaries of chronic health conditions. Now, the argument for such disclosures is that the public has a right to know if a potential president has health issues that could significantly impact their ability to serve. The counter argument is that such requirements could be invasive and might discourage otherwise qualified candidates from running. As we consider these issues, it's important to reflect on our societal attitudes toward aging and health. We should be cautious about conflating age with incapacity or equating any health challenge with an inability to lead. Many of history's most effective leaders have actually governed while managing chronic health conditions. At the same time, we shouldn't ignore the realities of aging and health. The presidency is an enormously taxing job, both mentally and physically. It's reasonable to consider whether a candidate of any age has the stamina and resilience for the role. With all that said, let's take a look at the medical details of each candidate. President Joe Biden, 81 years old, Height is six feet, weight 178 pounds, with a BMI of 24.1, which is normal. Overall health, had his annual physical examination and described as being healthy and vigorous by his physician, Dr. Kevin O'Connor, in February of 2024. Key medical conditions and medications, atrial fibrillation, currently without symptoms related to atrial fibrillation, 
originally was diagnosed in 2003 with AFib, for which he takes a blood thinner medication. He also has seasonal allergies. He also has gastroesophageal reflux, or GERD, which is why he takes an H2 blocker medication called Pepsid. Also with hyperlipidemia, aka high cholesterol, on a statin medication known as Crestor, aka Rosuvastatin. He also has sleep apnea, for which he wears a CPAP at night. He also has moderate to severe osteoarthritis in his spine and a history of brain aneurysms that were surgically repaired in 1988. Also with non-melanoma skin cancers that were previously removed. He works out at least five days a week. So what is his overall health assessment and prognosis? Given his active lifestyle, regular exercise, and management of chronic conditions, his overall prognosis appears favorable. His physician's description of him as healthy and vigorous supports this positive outlook. Specific considerations. So the atrial fibrillation is asymptomatic, managed with a blood thinner, reducing the risk of stroke. That is true. GERD and hyperlipidemia, both conditions are well managed with medications. Sleep apnea, properly managed with a CPAP machine, which helps prevent complications such as cardiovascular issues. Osteoarthritis, while moderate to severe, is a chronic condition that can be managed with appropriate treatment and lifestyle modifications. The history of brain aneurysms and skin cancers, these conditions have been addressed surgically and do not currently pose an active health threat. Conclusion here is that we have an 81-year-old male whose health status is well-managed and his active lifestyle contributes positively to his overall prognosis. Regular medical follow-ups and adherence to treatment plans are essential to maintaining his health and addressing any potential issues promptly. For those of you who are wondering, the AI that I'm using is a custom-built medical AI and based on preliminary testing, actually outperforms ChatGPT 4.0, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and Google's MedPalm 2 when it comes to medical accuracy. It's not something that is publicly available, at least not at the time of this recording. Then we have former president Donald Trump, who is a 78 year old man who weighs in at 243 pounds as of 2019, and his height is six foot three inches. Based on that, his BMI is 30.4, which is technically classified as class one obesity. His overall health has been previously described as very good by his physician in 2019. His key medical conditions, class one obesity, like we just mentioned, high cholesterol for which we do not know which medication he takes for that, if he does take one. Back in 2020, he had COVID-19 for which he was hospitalized and treated. He also took finasteride for hair loss prevention. His exercise routine is primarily golf with limited structured exercise. He has previously expressed skepticism about the benefits of exercise. He's also known for consuming fast food and diet sodas. So what's his overall health assessment and prognosis? The general prognosis is mixed. So while his physician in 2019 described him or described his health as very good, the presence of obesity and high cholesterol combined with poor diet and limited exercise poses significant health risks. Specific considerations, obesity and high cholesterol. So these conditions increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases including heart attack and stroke. Effective management through lifestyle changes and medication is crucial. Not much to make of the rosacea, the COVID-19 history. So basically, since there were no long-term complications that have been mentioned, that's a positive sign for him. When it comes to lifestyle factors, the risk of structured exercise and poor dietary habits are concerning. Regular physical activity and a balanced diet are essential for managing weight, cholesterol levels, and overall health. It gives lifestyle modifications recommendations. So for diet, adopt a healthier diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. And reduce the intake of fast food and diet sodas. Incorporate regular activity beyond golf, even moderate exercise such as walking, 
can significantly improve cardiovascular health and aid in weight management. The conclusion here for patient B is that his health status is currently stable, but at risk due to obesity, high cholesterol, and poor lifestyle habits. While his physician's description of very good health in 2019 is encouraging, proactive management of his weight, diet, and exercise routine is essential to improve his long-term prognosis and reduce the risk of serious health complications. Regular medical follow-ups and adherence to lifestyle recommendations are crucial for maintaining and improving his health. Now, it's time to see what this AI thinks about the health of these two presidential candidates when compared side by side. And based on its analysis, even though this AI does not recognize names, I took the extra step in this video to show you that there is no bias based on the name. That's why I have man A as Biden and man B as Trump. Man A, in this case is Biden, has a normal BMI of 24.1, indicating a healthy weight. Man B, in this case is Trump, has a BMI of 30.4, classifying him as obese, which is class one obesity. Okay, that much we know already. Man A exercises regularly, at least five days a week, which is beneficial for overall health. Man B has limited structured exercise and primarily engages in golf, which may not provide the same cardiovascular benefits as a more rigorous exercise routine. Yeah, that makes sense. Man B's diet includes fast food and diet sodas, which can contribute to obesity and other health issues. Yes, very true. Man A has multiple chronic conditions, but manages them with medications and lifestyle adjustments. His regular exercise routine and normal BMI are positive factors. Man B's obesity and high cholesterol are significant risk factors for cardiovascular disease. His skepticism about exercise and dietary habits may further exacerbate these conditions based on his lifestyle. Let's see what the final conclusion is. Man A appears to have a more favorable health profile due to his normal BMI, regular exercise routine, and effective management of his medical conditions. Despite his age and multiple chronic conditions, his active lifestyle and normal weight contribute positively to his overall health. Man B's obesity, limited exercise, and dietary habits are concerning and may negatively impact his health despite being described as very good by his physician in 2019. Regular exercise and a healthier diet could potentially improve his health profile. If you want to see more of how I'm using medical AI, stay tuned for more videos to come.